right, guys, we are arriving. Sessus, Latvia. Say, uh, former medieval city. Middle Latvia. And when I was uh, I was researching this place this morning, I was trying to grasp the feel of what this place is all about. And as I was looking at some of the images, look at the train by the way, very cool. I realized I've been here before. I've been to Chessis or Chessis during the winter time. Um, and it was a frigid day and it was snowing and it was mixed with rain and it was just a terrible, <laughs> terrible weather experience. But the town was so interesting with, you know, castles and cobblestone roads and some communist history it had everything and it's a place that i guess i wanted to come back to but had forgotten about and now here i am back in cesis c-e-s-i-s so there goes the train there's a factory of some sort and here we come into the train station Let's have a look. And right into it, this transportation station. Not just train, but also buses. All in one little area. Let's uh, look at the front. And as you come into this town, the city, you immediately feel a bit of the history with the, got these kind of stones set up here. And there's stone walls over there and this you know, I don't know what this is, but it kind of reminds you of some medieval helmet type thing. Right behind this wall is a, uh, it's a building. I don't know if it's a church or what it is, but it's made of these mighty big kind of reddish stones. There's this building. Look at this thing cylindrical design with a little I'm calling it a hat on top pretty cool so here's this uh, interesting architecture I was just referring to with the big stones and so all this just as soon as you get off the train so Just a, you know, an interesting place to visit. So glad that it's warm out too. So let me set the scene a bit. Um, we're about maybe two hours from Riga. And what we've done is traveled from where I was staying in Sigulda Segulda is a, uh, it's like an outdoor sports area. It's right out of National Park. Took the train up here, 40 minute train ride along the National Park. The train stopped maybe once or twice. And then we got here. So we're kind of like in this very spe geographically specific area as it's next to a National Park and uh, you feel like you're kind of away from the rest of society. I mean, you know you're in a smaller town, but it goes beyond that. It feels like 
Uh, like everyone knows each other here. Feels a bit socially tighter than other places in, in uh, Latvia that feel a bit more connected to the rest of the world. Which is good and bad, I mean, if you live in a place like this, it feels safe, everyone kind of knows each other, but there's also a feeling of it being a bit limited because it's just same old, same old type of situation, which there's comfort in that, there's re reliability, but there's also an element of boringness to it, just doing the same. Same people, same things, same old jokes. And a lack of freshness and newness. <laughs> so guys, let me let me stop it there and actually no, I'll just keep it going. Now that's cool. I'll I'll drop it off here and pop it on again. 